why in this Unity video we're going to look at how to use the standard assets that are built into Unity. So we're going to create a quick environment and then put in a character in a car and make them move with two different types of cameras. When you start Unity you will come upon this screen here. We're going to create a new project. I've already created a folder that I want to put this in on my desktop. So I'm going to go new project, give the project a title. and the location you are saving it. You then choose if you want this to be a 3D or 2D project. We want this to be 3D and we can click on add asset package. Now some of you may have a list of packages here that you can import things like character and environment. If you do simply tick those because we're going to use them. If nothing shows up like mine that's fine just hit done, create project and we will enter them later on. Once Unity has started, you may have the view that I have here, you may have a different view. To change your view, you simply go to Window, Layouts, and you have different options. So you can choose the type of option that feels the most comfortable for you. The middle screen here is where we're going to see our creation. The left are all the actual items we're going to create and use. In the bottom left, we can get our assets and search for things we want to use. And on the right will be our property inspector where we can change our values. The top left hand corner have a few different icons. We will be using these throughout. The hand will let me left click and drag across my screen. If I right click my mouse, I'll be able to pan. Our second icon is the one we will use to edit our objects and we'll see that in more detail when we start creating. Whenever you want to see what your project is going to look like, if you were to export it, you simply click the play button and that will take you into the testing view of your game or project. I'm now going to import the assets that I want to use. So I'm going to go to assets at the top, import package. Now I want the cameras. When I click on that you'll have a dialog box and then a screen like this. Just hit import. I'm also going to import characters. vehicles cameras cameras already in there so I'm fine with that and I'm going to go with environment with your standard assets you'll notice here in the bottom left now we have a standard assets folder and in that folder is the folder of each of the things we've just imported. So we're going to be working through these a little bit later. We're now going to create a terrain which we're going to use as our environment for this project. So I'm going to go to Game Object, 3D Object, Terrain. Now I can see my terrain a little bit. If I want to center that, I can double click on the terrain here. If I right click, I'm able to pan if I select the hand here, I can move around in this view. Zoom in, zoom out. If I choose my second icon, my move icon, you'll notice I get three axes. X, Y, Z. And here, I can play around with the positioning of the X, Y, Z. And you will notice in the right hand side of the inspector, the position here will change when I move these things. I can also manually type into these things here. So I can scale it up, scale it down, rotate it, or like that. We want to set a texture for our terrain. So I'm going to click on the Paint the Terrain Texture, Edit Texture, Add Texture. I'm then going to click Select. And in here, these are our inbuilt textures, you can choose different looks that your terrain will take. So if I want my terrain to have a sandy color, I'm going to click Sand, double click on that and click add and you'll see the terrain takes that browny color so that's under our terrain paint the terrain texture I can also create mountains so I can raise and lower the terrain height if I click on raise lower and I left click and raise my mouse you'll notice that I'm creating a mountain type range look 
I hold down shift and click, I can lower. You can zoom into that. I'm now going to create a new texture. So I'm going to go back over here to paint the terrain texture, edit texture, add texture. Select and I'm going to search at the top here for a grass type texture. I'm going to add that. Now when I click on that grass texture, if I click now I can paint that into whatever sections I may want of this environment. So you can even create new textures and new looks and designs through your world. So you can go back, edit texture, add again, grass, choose a different style of grass, and you can add that in. You'll also notice there's trees, so I can place trees. I can also place plants, stones, and other foliage. If I click on place trees, edit trees, add tree, if I click on this little circle here, I'll get my standard assets and I can scroll through here and look at different types of trees that are available. So I'm going to click add. I'm going to grab the hand tool and move to this section. I'm going to lose my tree. I can click and drag these trees in. Or I can mass place trees. If I click on this, I can just say I want you to put in a hundred thousand, five, four, whatever you want, trees, and it will randomly populate your project. With the trees, the more you put in, the more intensive it's going to be on your computer. So for this project, don't put too many in or you might find your computer is going to start lagging. So now we're going to look at some cameras. There's a main camera in this project already. It is currently situated up here, but we're going to add in a first person controller. So, first person controller is kind of like your first person camera you see in your action games. So I'm going to search for it over here. I'm going to type in FPS and I can see my first person controller is here. I'm going to click and drag that to the left hand side. So if I double click on that, it's going to take me to where my first person controller is. First thing is I'm going to delete my camera. Grab my first person controller and I'm going to move it. When I press play, you'll now notice that I have a character that can automatically walk, move, jump in this environment. And this is all inbuilt in the first person controller. So those footsteps, the jump, the up, down, left, right, that is all pre-built in this first person controller. I'm going to press play again to go back to my editing view. If I was to click on my first person controller and I have a look on the right hand side, you'll notice that there are a lot of things involved. So I've got something called rigid body. That ensures that when I start, my guide doesn't fall through the world. I've got audio. So if I want to turn the audio on or off, it's there, or I could add in my own audio. The first person controller script. So this is actually the code that allows him to walk up, down, left, right. If I was to double click on this script, it would open up and show you all that is involved in coding that movement. So for those that knew what they were doing here, they could edit this to speed the person up, slow them down, whatever it may be. So you've got walking speed, running speed, jumping, up, down, left, right movement. I'm now going to delete the first person controller. And down here I'm going to search for third person controller, which is an over the top camera view. So there's my script. And if I click on this box here, I've actually got the character that we can use from the standard assets package as well. I'm going to grab my third person controller and drag him above the terrain. So when I double click, as always, I can now center on the character and I can see that character. We're going to want our camera back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, 
camera and the camera is going to come back in. I'm going to drag that camera into the third person controller so the camera becomes what we call a child because it's now nested underneath. That camera I'm going to want to reposition so I can kind of see my character and because the camera is now connected to the character when we press play the camera is going to follow the character around once again all of these animations are inbuilt through those scripts and by connecting the camera to the character we can follow our character throughout our world. If I took the camera out and pressed play, you will notice now that we've got a camera that is set and eventually I could lose my character and not know what's going on. We're now going to do something similar with a car. So my assets under vehicle you have aircraft and car, you can do it for either or go to car, prefabs, grab my car, drag it in again, create a camera that camera is now on the car, so with that camera I'm going to reposition it and press play so once again it's all inbuilt and because it's got a rigid body I can't drive through the trees again if I take the camera out we're going to see the issue with that so if I remove the car go to aircraft prefab drag that in put the camera in there So that there is just a quick look at some of the inbuilt terrains, assets and things of that nature.